2nd of December um, and we were in um, Matarawa Forest on the uh, Mangakahia track just below a nest that's not long been built and it's the fifth nest that we've found uh, this week. Uh, we got six in total. It's been a really good week. We came here with two at the beginning of the week, uh, six days ago, and um, uh, we found uh, um, a third nest on the second day, and uh, one of the nests that we had found the week before failed, so we were back to two nests, but uh, we've done really well, we've had a good team this week, and we've managed to find um, further four more nests, so um, our target was five nests, we've got six, and... Um, yeah, the weather has just been that good. Okay. And um, what, tell me, tell me um, a little about what's involved in nest finding. You've done. You've um, apparently you have a bit of rotation as being a bit of a nest finder. <laughs> you don't apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's hard. Eh? Our nest finding um, is a, a difficult thing, and um, it's haphazard. Um, sometimes you can be lucky and sometimes it can take you ages to find a nest, you know, it can take, take you three days to find a nest that's right on the track. Um, it just depends on the, the, whether you see some key things early, um, the wind, if there's movement in the canopy, you have trouble attracting a bird or hearing the little contact calls they make. And they're a bit secretive around the nest, um, particularly when they're incubating, later on when they're feeding chicks. As the chicks get bigger, they're very busy and it becomes a lot easier, but you want to find them, uh, obviously, if you can, prior to that stage and, and, um, and get some you know, predator control in place, yeah. yeah. And we've had a good team. We've had um, Jerome and, and Hugh um, and Nigel and Ethel, a couple of old hands from up here, who've come out of retirement to help us out. Um, so it's all added up to quite a quite a successful week, really. Um, and why are you looking for nests? Oh, this yeah, this whole project is about um, sourcing some females to uh, to bring on the um, or to help uh, with the restoration of the uh, the Pukati population. So we're over here cropping three female chicks this year and uh, these chicks will go to um, uh, Hamilton Zoo when we've sexed them as females. We're only after three this year so from here they'll well, we'll probably fly them directly to Hamilton where the staff down there are uh, waiting for us. Um, they've been experienced in bringing through uh, nestlings to um, sub-adult stage from there Two of the chicks will end up going to Lady Alice, Maui Mu Island, which is part of the hen and chickens, where we've already got a uh, Pukati male and, um, and a couple of females. Yeah, that's Caprosma. Don't know what that is. Like a little bit of invertebrate. Hell yeah. And it could be those Schaefer, but are those Schaefer beetle shells? Uh, once we establish a population out on the island, um, we'll start bringing them back to Pukati, and that's the, that's the long term plan for this. So, this is only uh, one of the steps towards uh, um, getting that rest of uh, that. Um, population restored but because they are genetically probably the closest um, population uh, to the Pukati birds we've decided to um, try and boost the, the, um, the Northland uh, genetic um, contribution by getting birds from here um, yeah so it's been a long week and um, Looking forward to a shower. <laughs>